When I'm teaching workshops, I often get the question, why am I using Capture One and not Adobe Lightroom, like many people or most wildlife photographers are. And I made the switch from Lightroom to Capture One um, around five years ago for several reasons. And in this video, I just want to explain you what the reasons were, um, what I think about it now, if I kind of regret the decision or not. And if you're new into wildlife photography, what would I recommend for you? Or should you also maybe switch from one program to the other or not? So first of all, I think we need a bit of context. So five years ago, I was a student. I spent way too much money on my photography equipment, so I didn't want to spend more money on editing software. So as a student, I was lucky enough to be able to use the um, Lightroom and all the Adobe software if I wanted for a greatly reduced price. But then this changed a tiny bit when Adobe switched from a um, one-time purchase to the um, cloud subscription. And I was not a big fan of this because I did the math and if I just like updated every second year with the normal Lightroom version, I saved a lot of money compared to if I had the subscription where I'm yeah, forced to pay every month. So that was something I didn't like, but that was not the main reason. I was just clicking a bit to the Lightroom 6, which was the last version before the yeah, the Creative Cloud subscription became kind of mandatory. And with Lightroom 6, I just felt that sometimes the editing got a bit slow, especially when I was using several adjustment brushes and stuff like this. So I was kind of intrigued to try a Capture One for a bit. So that's what I did. I got the free test version for 30 days. I played around with it, edited some pictures in Lightroom and in Capture One. And for me, the look in Capture One was just better. I don't know, the colors were more pleasing and it felt so much more powerful. When I was editing, especially landscape pictures and in some clouds in the sky that were kind of yellowish, I was trying to bring down the highlights a bit. I just saw that there was like more possible in Capture One. Um, in Lightroom, the highlights were either like burnt out or they were just a bit, yeah, pale. And in Capture One, there was clearly detail. There were more color, more contrast. It's a bit hard to describe. Um, so there I really favored Capture One and then also what you could do with all the layers. Basically, as soon as you make an adjustment layer, you can do everything. All the adjustments you have, whereas in Lightroom, at least five years ago, it was very limited what you could do with an adjustment brush. You brushed it and then you could change a few sliders, but not even setting, resetting the black and white point. And of course, you were not able to like modify individual colors. Whereas in Capture One, this was all possible. And I know that Lightroom really caught up here and improved a lot. But still, I feel Capture One is still stronger in the core editing. But there were also some things that I clearly preferred in Lightroom. And that was basically the whole catalog management, the file management. Um, for example, if I clicked on an folder that had several subfolders in Lightroom. It was showing me all the pictures in the subfolders. In Capture One, it was not showing anything um, because yeah, this folder didn't have any files. So it didn't, yeah, it basically neglected all the subfolders. This is, comes down to preferences maybe. I prefer the handling of Lightroom and in the meantime, Capture One also changed this. So it is more like Lightroom, but I felt like the whole keywording and um, creating stacks of pictures and stuff like this all worked more seamless, seamlessly or had more uh, functionality in Lightroom. So there I was really a bit, yeah, torn what I should do. And while I said before the Capture One was faster in editing pictures, when I was just viewing them in the library, I felt that Lightroom was actually faster, at least if you um, like built the one-to-one -one previews before. And if you wanted to export pictures, um, there it was possible in Lightroom using these smart previews to export, I think it was up to 2,500 pixel width, even if the files were offline. So let's say at an ex on an external hard drive and I was somewhere else with my computer, with my laptop, I could still export them and use them for Facebook, Instagram or my website. And I found this quite handy. And I have been using Capture One and Lightroom in parallel for a while. Um, 
for once because I needed for workshops, but the other reason was also that, for example, Panorama and um, HDR was until December 2021 just not possible in Capture One. And even now I think it works much better in Lightroom. So to summarize, I have the feeling that Lightroom is a bit better in the file management. It's quicker to go through the pictures, the sorting and this and that. On the other hand, Capture One is for me giving me better results when I actually edit the pictures. Even though I need to say here, Lightroom improved a lot. It got way faster. You have more options now with the uh, adjustment brushes, even though not as it's still not as flexible as um, Capture One. But what Lightroom has and is amazing is this um, AI detection of the subject or the sky. This makes editing just a bit quicker for me. And this uh, magic brush that exists in Capture One is just not doing the same. So if I had to decide again, would I still switch from, Cap from Lightroom to Capture One as of today? Um, I think no, I would stay with Lightroom. Uh, but I'm also not switching back from Capture One to Lightroom now. I think I would just stick to what, what I have at least until things change radically. And I would, in nine out of 10 cases, also recommend the same to you because when you switch from one program to the other, you always lose some of the adjustments. It's annoying, it's a tedious process. And I think in most cases, it's probably not worth it. If you're starting with wildlife photography and image editing, I'm not sure which one I would recommend. I'm leaning maybe a tiny bit more to li towards Lightroom. Um, I also feel it's a tiny bit easier, but I'm not sure here. Um, I think what would be the best there is just to get the free test versions that are available for 30 days for free, edit some pictures with both programs and then decide what you like more. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if I forgot something important down in the comments and see you in the next one.